Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Chris from GameBuds and today I am teaching you guys how to begin to build the 21 Pilots Bandito Tour stage in Minecraft. Here we go. Alright everybody, so like I said, welcome back. If you haven't, like and subscribe for more Minecraft concert stuff. Apparently it's what I'm really good at and it's starting to get the most views on my channel. So thank you so much for finding this video by the way. And if you're a... Uh, uh, recurring and uh, a very you know uh, everyday subscriber of mine and you like my videos thank you so much for coming back I appreciate it alright guys so here we go let's start the tutorial what you guys are going to need we're gonna need some black concrete some gray concrete and we'll stop with that for now if you want to grab maybe like a red block just to you know figure out a center that'll be good alright so before we begin, what I use is the City Texture Pack. If you see, it has a bunch of different looking kind of blocks. So, you know, whatever I happen to grab, if you don't have the City Texture Pack, that's okay. You can grab something close. So maybe if you have the regular Texture Pack, maybe grab some polished andesite. Stone works really well for the stage. Um, come over to your carpets, maybe, you know, uh, some black concrete. It looks a little bit different, but same thing. Um, and the carpets and the walls and all that, they're not too bad either. So just grab something that's similar to very black and gray and then get yourself some red concrete, okay? And other than that, you'll be good to go. Okay, my dudes, so here we go. What we are gonna do, find yourself a center point, all right? Get yourself a center. We're gonna place one black, boop, and then one red concrete right on top of it, all right? This is how we know where the center of the stage is going to be. As you can see, this is where the Metallica Worldwide stage was. I destroyed it, and now I have a center spot that I know where the middle will be, more or less for the drums or microphone, whatever you're gonna put down the middle, okay? So now that you got your center, off to the side, we are gonna add, let's go ahead and add 15 blocks, okay? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, you're gonna do the same on the other side. Do not count the red block as number one. That is just the center. You're gonna start with one coming off of it, just like that. So go ahead and add fifteen more, and then we'll continue. All right, now that we have our fifteen, it should look something like this. Okay. Next, what we're going to do, we're gonna come off to whichever side you want, and you're gonna come up towards where the crowd would stand. Let's go up, uh, let me see, let's go up about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just like that. Go over to the other side, whichever side you started on, go to the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. What you're gonna do after that, you're going to connect the whole stage, just like this, okay? Connect, 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 boom. Just like that, all right? So you should have a giant rectangle. Next, go ahead and fill it in with gray concrete. We'll resume after we're done, guys. Go ahead and pause the video here so you can fill it in. All righty, my dudes. So as you can see, I always use Splash Potion of Swiftness. Makes you a little bit faster. You can always check how much time you have right there on the bottom right-hand corner, right by your inventory, just right here. And uh, you usually get about 2 minutes, 45 seconds for, like, good speedy build. So when you're having to do something like this, back and forth, back and forth, go ahead and throw some speed down, okay? So what I did here... Going back to the stage, I left the center empty. The reason I do that, you don't have to. The reason I do it is just to keep an eye on where the center is at throughout the whole build, okay? So it's going to be empty like this. And the reason why, we're going to destroy the black right there, okay? Go ahead and pop out the black on the opposite side of the red. All right, this kind of shows me where we're going to have to build out. Because on this stage, the singer actually has a little bit of a space that he comes out towards the crowd, all right? So we're going to put down one gray. We're going to go out one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. And then you're going to go on either side, add up the five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this one's the center. You're going to have two on either side. So we already have one row of five. Let's add one more row of five. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of the black. Fill it in with gray. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to now border the gray part we just added with black concrete. Just like that. Okay? Your stage should look something just like that. Go ahead and do that. And if it looks a little bit off, pause it. Make sure you get it looking right just like this. And then come back to the video. Okay. Now that our stage looks like this, what we're going to do next is add the two little side portions that come off the stage. All right? So same thing. You're going to get your gray concrete. 
and you have one, two, three, just like this. Starting from the outside, work your way in. One, two, three, just like that, okay? And then you're gonna go one, two, three. Go ahead and make like a little rectangle. One, two, three. All right, just like that. And then you're going to destroy the black, just like we did right there. Whatever's touching the gray, destroy it. Boom, 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 okay? Does it look the same to you? Yep, 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 looks good. So now what do we do, guys? We add gray in. Remember, just like last time, add some gray into there and then border it with the black. Should look just, oops, should look just like this, you guys. Right now when I'm done doing this, I'll back up so we can see what it should look like. Should be good. Yep, there you go. Should look something like that. Oops, look, we forgot our little corner over here. All right, looks good. All right, everybody, you're doing great so far. If you're following along, good job. If you're making it look a little bit different, you don't have to go exactly as, you know, what I'm doing. Go ahead and change it up a bit. But what we're doing is more or less to the exact look of the stage. Um, I've never seen them live. This is all off YouTube videos and off research, so bear with me, but it's going to look pretty good, okay? So what you're going to do next, grab yourself some black concrete if you haven't put it away. And if you can, grab some light gray concrete, okay? We're going to throw down the giant screen that is behind the band. All right, so here we go. All right, guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw two black concrete blocks backwards from the red block. So we're going to go one, two. All right. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go all the way towards the back and line it up with the last block on the back, okay? So you know your stage that you have all the way back, line it up just like that, okay? Have some something weird just like this. And that's okay because uh, these are kind of like where the guys behind the stage will work and stand. We will never see that as a crowd, all right? So don't worry about that little space there. It'll make sense, okay? So next, starting at whichever corner you want, go ahead and build up. Let's go up about 15, okay? So not counting this block. We're going to add them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Just like that. And you're going to go ahead and connect it all the way to the other side. So boom, 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 boom. You know, I always like to go down real quickly just so I know not to, you know, keep going. Sometimes I'll build all the way out that way. I could have just gone up. See, look, this will kind of connect at a certain point. Oops. So if you don't if you don't do that, you might keep going like this and you don't want to do that. So you should have something just like that. All right. And in a second, I'll show you where to put the giant screen and the lights off to the side of it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you're doing good so far. If you've gotten this far in the video, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. You guys are awesome for doing so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and share the video around. We also have an Instagram at GameBuds Official. I would appreciate you watching that or checking that out. And uh, yeah, let's continue. All right, let's do this. Okay, okay. So here we go. What we're going to do with the screen, we're going to place one, two, just like that. Place two light gray concrete blocks and destroy the bottom one for me. All right. Destroy that one. You have one floating block. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten off to either side. Do not count the center one. You're going to add one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just like that. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks tall. All right, and then you're going to connect it. So before I finish off, remember, you're going to add 10 to the center, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Do not count the first block. You're going to add 8 to the top. It'll be a total of 9, but without counting the first block. All right, so after that, go ahead and fill in your screen, and we'll continue after that. Okay, guys, your screen should be nice and filled. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to fill in those little... Those little areas down here, okay? We'll fill those in. Boom, boom, boom. Looks good. Boom, 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 boom. All right, fill all that in. And we're also going to fill in the rectangle around the screen. So go ahead and fill that in, and then we will pick up right after that. All right, everybody, it should look just like that. Nice and pretty. 
All right, giant black rectangle. Everything's looking good. Next, guys, go ahead and grab yourself some of that l gray concrete again. Let's fill in this middle part. We are all good with the center. We kind of see where it's at now. If you always want to put yourself a second indicator of the middle, go ahead and do that. It doesn't hurt anybody. You know, that's how you know exactly where we're at. This is down the middle. You can put one, two, three. doesn't matter. If you need to put a whole red line just so you know where the center is at, go for it. So, you know, like I said, it will never hurt anybody to show yourself where the middle's at because symmetry when you're doing these stages is everything. You know, you don't want one side that looks too big, one side that looks too squished. You know, you want it to look perfect. All right. So next what we're going to do, we're going to cover up this place. OK, so we're going to add on a little roofy roof. Uh, and the way we're going to do that, we are going to start up here on the side. All right. You're going to place one block. OK, just like that place a second block as a little step all right and then add one next to it just like that go up another one break it off just like this and add a second one okay same thing on the other side you're gonna go up to the to the wall one block two blocks two blocks just like that okay and then finally you're gonna add another block but this one's going to connect all the way to the other side just like that okay and then we are going to bring it up and let's count it off okay go to the very last block off to the side we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten just like that so go ahead and bring all of these forward ten blocks line it all up very pretty very nice okay and when we're done doing that we will finish off the rest of the stage because this is going to take a little while there all right everybody so you should have something like this all right something just like that next we're going to fill in that black spot right there and then we'll continue on with the lighting underneath the stage go ahead and do that and we'll continue. All right, everybody. Awesome job. Awesome job. Okay. Clear out your inventory. Do this for me. Grab yourself some scaffolding. Hooray. What we're going to use the scaffolding for. If you guys have ever seen the stage, they do have, they have these weird little square things that hold a bunch of lights on it. Okay. And uh, the, the scaffolding in this game actually looks kind of similar to it. Not too bad. So the way we're going to use them is just like this you're gonna come over you know what grab yourself some night vision too there you go we can see the stage a lot better now make sure you have night vision on I need night vision to show you guys a tutorial if you don't need it cool if your gamma's all the way up you're a weirdo but if you know if you can see in the dark all right go go Batman all right so here we go uh, if you want go ahead and start on the black or start on the red box that we did doesn't matter it's up to you. I'm just saying we're going to need some room for the stage props, okay? But it's totally up to you. Totally fine. So what we're going to do on the red block, that's where I'm going to put it on. We're going to go one, two, three, four. All right, just like that. You're going to have four scaffolding right down the center. All right, go ahead and add. Let's add, mm, let's do eight to each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then we're going to come in four. So one right here. Two, three, four. Just like that. One, two, three, four. Okay. Should look something like this from the top. Not super straight because you're going to have one little, one little bend just like that. All right. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that all four of them or I'm, I'm sorry all of these stand four tall okay one two three just like that one two three 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 see just like that go ahead and do that for me one two three all the way up and then we'll continue all right y'all so you should have something just like that oops i'm running out of night vision Hup. 
bang right in the face all right so you should have something looking just like this the concert actually looks like that the screen is covered a bit but that is okay it happens in real life the screen gets cut off if it looks a little bit wrong to you you can add more screen it's totally fine go up another layer or two add a bigger screen totally fine i like the way it looks like that it looks realistic um looks pretty cool because they use a like a lot of imagery and stuff on the screen not so much to see the band all the time so i think it comes out really cool all right next what we're going to do grab yourself some lanterns the lanterns sit on top of these things really well they look like concert lights and i love them so what we're going to do on the very end place a lantern other side place a lantern okay you can go ahead and skip just like that so you have one skip one skip once again one skip one skip just like that and then if you want to start right in the center the center light that's why you always have a middle block so you know exactly where the middle is at so you can do skip every one like that or you can do you know side by side each one totally up to you i'm going to go ahead and skip each one just because that looks pretty cool that looks really nice um you know unfortunately you can't put like a light in there i don't think nope you can't put a light inside that would look pretty cool um that would look a lot more realistic but we're going to put lights on top and we're going to leave it just like that all right my dudes great job so far hope everybody's doing great that's awesome um guys once again thank you so much for watching this far uh, my first ever how to build a minecraft concert stage video has over 8,000 views and that's awesome for a little channel like mine 500 something subbies that's great um so i'm hoping videos like this really help uh, I'm still trying to find what I do on YouTube and if it's making Minecraft concert stages and stuff. Hey, I'll do it <laughs> I don't care um, So yeah, so here we go Make sure you get some night vision cuz it's gonna be hard to see the lights might help But it's still hard to see all right. What we're gonna do next. Let's grab some what is this nether wart block? I like the way it looks on the city pack. You don't need to do it on city pack. You can grab some red concrete if you want um, You know whatever you guys want to do grab some red concrete. I'm gonna fill in this red squares distracted me um so whatever you want just make sure it's a red okay so what we're going to do with the red we're going to make it the red burning car okay so i'm going to put it right up against this here one two three just like that so starting with the center see the center red block put one two three on either side and we're going to go across one and two just like that and then we're going to come out one two three one two three okay and then we're going to build the car itself just like this all right go ahead and pop out the window totally fine we need some windows and then pop out the little ends right here so it should look something like a hashtag okay make kind of like a hashtag looking thing all right after you do that get some nether rack and we're going to pop in some nether rack down in there and the reason we're doing this is because in the show the guitarist comes out the guitar slash singer he comes out of the stage on top of the car and then the car catches fire it looks really really cool uh so that's going to be our little car on fire if you want to grab yourself some black concrete maybe a stone button you can make the tires see that you can make yourself some tires looks like a burning little car and that's pretty cool i like that so what i did to make it look like the roof of the car i put red carpet boom boom see just like that it looks kind of like more enclosed now instead of just flying open there oh don't destroy the bottom one it will destroy it all right next what we're going to do is build the drum set off to the left hand side okay so what you're going to do grab yourself some block of quartz or polished diorite it doesn't matter which one it's still grab yourself a white block get a white block <laughs> all right after you do that grab yourself some lime concrete okay grab yourself some iron bars then go back and get some yellow carpet these are going to act as the drum set okay and then the polished diorite is going to be the drum riser where he sits on so you know the four that we built out over here the four little light scaffoldings you're going to go up one two and three place one block down like that okay going to the right you're going to place one two and then you're going to go forward one two just like this all right build yourself a little square so it's going to be three by three so once again you're going to go one two three place your block one and two to the right one two down kind of like a little line dance do 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 all right other than that all you got to do is place one lime in the middle one lime off to the side and iron bars on each side stack them up twice 
then place the yellow on top and you got yourself some symbols you can always put a symbol back here too and I always like to put a little hi-hat which is what the guy hits you know tss, 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 tss. that's the hi-hat right there so there you go now you got the drummer's drum set right there next we're gonna continue on and we're gonna do the piano I know there's a piano on stage all right so what we're gonna use for that is spruce planks Grab yourself some spruce, plank some nice dark wood, get a nice dark, you know, old school classic piano. And we're going to do the same thing on here. There's the four scaffolding, but what we're going to do here instead, we're going to go, uh, what is this, diagonal, I guess? I, I don't know. <laughs> we're going to go one, two, and uh, let's go three, and then break these two off, okay? You're going to go in one and two, and build that too high, just like that. All right, after you build that too high, fill in the back portion with two. Okay, after that, you're going to want to go ahead and grab yourself some, some weighted pressure plate or some white wool. Doesn't matter. That's supposed to represent the keys, okay? After you place that down, grab whatever oak fence you want and also grab yourself some light gray or white carpet. That's going to represent the chair that he sits in. All right, so there's your piano. There's your chair. And there you go. That's the on-stage props that the band mostly has on stage uh, when it comes to what they play and what you know the show consists of. So you have the scaffolding back there, the burning car, the drum set, and the piano. All right. Let's go ahead and continue, and we're going to do some of the lighting up top. All right, my friends. When it comes to the lighting, what I like to use is this. What I've been using a lot is the Monster Spawners, okay? Monster Spawners have been coming out really, really good. Uh, if you look at some of my other stages, let's let's go fly around real quickly. Uh, like, look at Guns N' Roses. Do I have any more? Nope, I've, <laughs> I didn't use any. I'll use some back here. Uh, what's another stage that actually has Monster Spawners that I can use? Maybe the Dude Perfect Tour. Maybe Dude Perfect. Yeah, look. Ah, cave sounds. Dude Perfect here. It does have uh, Monster Spawners hanging as the... Kind of like the metal rigging up top for the light. So it actually comes out really well. So if you want to use monster spawners, go ahead. If you want to use any other black, uh, you know, block or any other kind of iron block, go ahead and use that too. All right, guys. With monster spawners in hand or whatever block you chose, go ahead and fly up to the stage. All right. Using our center block. Okay. Let's see. There's, there's the center, the red. Oh, we are going to fly it straight up after drinking some night potion. Fly straight up all the way to the top, and you should hit the roof, all right? After you hit the roof, go ahead and place a monster spawner, and bring it all the way forward, all right? All the way forward, just like that, right down the middle. And then you're going to go off to these little curvy sides, and on the top one, you're going to do the same thing. Follow it along, just like that. Go to the other side. All right, this is going to give the stage... That realistic look of like some, you know, the guys built this. This was built. It was uh, created as a structure and these metal beams are holding it up. Okay. And that's also what's going to hold the lights up. All right. So after you have it set up like that, we're going to go ahead with the monster spawners and cross to either side. All right. Go ahead to the other side from the center all the way to the side till it touches just like that. All right. So now you actually have a lighting rig up there. If you want, you can also follow the edge just like this so you can go down one two one two just like that looks a little bit more realistic i love the way that looks uh you guys don't have to do that like i said it's totally up to you totally your call you don't have to do that if you don't want to okay uh, next go ahead and from the very back you're going to go out two to the right one two all right go ahead and place one two three four five so once again one two one two three four five going out just like that all right from here grab yourself some torches and just line it up on there the torches act like lighting you know of course they're going to be like the little lights for the stage all right so now you have those but that looks too bland what are we going to do chris what we're going to do is starting from this first one on the five that we built we're going to count that one two three four and five we're gonna go five out okay so what you can do is place one monster spawner two three and four go for down four and destroy all the all the monster spawners besides uh the very last one okay 
So if you, if you want, you can go ahead and just build across, or you can start from the back again and count, you know, so one, two, three, four, five, and then you have this one, okay? So it should look just like that. All right, so remember, you go out, and then you go down four, destroy the three coming down, leave this one hanging. What you're gonna wanna do with this, you have the one floating, you're gonna go off to the right, one, two, three, okay? Come in, one, two, three, and then make a square with it. All right, so it's gonna be a four by four block. Same thing, but just going towards the left. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then make it the block, just like that. So, uh, 21 Pilots, they actually have a really cool little system. These lights actually come down on like pulley chains. So, like the chains will bring the actual lighting rig down. So grab yourself some iron bars and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, after you get your iron bars, you're going to do what I'm doing by placing three on top of the monster spawner cages. So one, two, and three. The reason you know it's only three is because it touches the roof, and you want it to look realistic by doing that. All right, so one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, and three. Go ahead and do it on the other side as well, and... um before we come back you're gonna do it on the other side and you're also going to add torches all around the sides just like this all right just like this all the way around though all right so go ahead and put your iron and your torches on this side and we'll resume after that all right guys it should look something like this if it does great job all right next i hope you still have your monster spawners out what we're going to do right above the screen okay we're going to go ahead and place a row of monster spawners across the whole top of the screen. All right. And if you can, I don't know if it does it, but if you can, try to do a torch every other block. Oops. Every other block. Just like this. All right. That looks pretty cool. And then right above this line of monster spawners, you're going to go up one, two, and three. Okay. And you're going to place one down the middle four on either side one two three four one two three four all right go ahead and fill all of those in with torches just like that okay should look just like that all right final thing we're going to do for this episode grab yourself some glowstone you're going to come off to the side over here where the all this black is we're going to fill this in okay so right behind these little uh, scaffolding, you're going to go behind, and this sh this first block that you punch out should match up with this torch on top. Same thing goes for the other side. Make sure it's the block right behind, just like that. All right, after you have figured out which block that is, you're going to go up one, two, three, fill it in, skip one black block, one, two, three, oh, I'm sorry, four, <laughs> Fill it in just like that and then you're going to skip over one black block one two Three four so it should look like two number 11s on either side of the screen just like that All right, go to the other side. I'll show you again So one two three so that's a total of four glowstone. You're gonna skip up one one two three four Skip over going left one two three four and then skip down again one two three four and then fill it in with glowstone okay so the stage should look something like this by this point all right so we're going to go ahead and stop here guys this is becoming a long video it's only going to be a two-parter we're going to finish it after uh you know after you guys get done with all of this we'll finish off the stage strong uh but for now this is part one of how to build the 21 Pilots Bandito Tour Stage. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Part two comes out real soon. So stick tuned. Stick tuned. Stick with me. Stay tuned. Get sticky. Uh, eat chocolate. Be fat. I don't care what you do. Just like and subscribe. Love me. I love you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Chris from Game Buds. If you like Minecraft concert stuff, be a subscriber and you'll see a lot more of it. Also, suggest what you want to see down in the comments. Thank you for watching. I love you. Goodbye, everybody.